इट इज़ अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन ऑल द क्लिनिकल्स ऑफ लोअर लिम देर आर न्यूमरस क्लिनिकल्स ऑफ लोअर लिम्प एंड वी विल डिस्कस ऑल द क्लिनिकल्स ऑफ लोअर लिम्प नाउ द फर्स्ट क्लिनिकल इज माइनर्स नी इन माइनर्स नी देयर इज बरसाइटिस द इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ बरसाज इन माइनर्स नी द बरसाइटिस ऑफ प्री पटेलर बरसा अकर्स प्री पटेलर बरसा इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ पटेला इन माइनर्स नी प्री पटेलर बरसाइटिस अकर्स एंड द बरसाइटिस इज द वर्ल्ड बरसाइटिस मीन्स बरसाइटिस मीन्स inflammation of the bursa and the bursa reduces friction between the muscle and the bone it is the inflammation of peripatellar bursa in front of the patella now the next clinical is kalerji mans knee in kalerji mans knee the inflama inflammation of subcutaneous infrapatellar bursa occurs called in subcutaneous infrapatellar bursitis infrapatellar bursa is present in front of tibia below the patella and in front of infrapatellar ligament the inflammation of infrapatellar bursa occurs it causes it causes the joint to become swollen and pain occurs and difficulty in walking occurs difficulty in walking occurs now the next clinical is femoral hernia hernias are the bulging out of abdominal contents into the pelvis through through any weak area this weak area may be thinning of muscle all the wall of abdomen femoral canal is an area of very potential weakness this is femoral canal it is an area of severe potential weakness through which abdominal contents may bulge out forming of femoral hernia femoral hernia is a very common condition and it 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 causes pain pain and in female there is a higher degree of occurrence of femoral hernia than in male the reason behind this occur in degree of occurrence is in female there is wider pelvis larger femoral canal and smaller size of femoral vessel these condition provide more space to the femoral canal and the contents of abdomen may bulge out through this site through femoral canal into the pelvis this con this content can compress femoral vein contents com can compress femoral vein femoral artery and femoral nerve it causes pain and the occlusion of artery also causes decreased blood flow 
it also femoral nerve also causes anesthesia anesthesia caused by sensory loss on the area supplied by this nerve now the next clinical is swas abscess what is an abscess abscess is an infection or pus formation and this was abscess is formed between the swas swas major muscle and lumbar vertebrae it originally it forms in the lumbar vertebrae and this infection track down between swas major muscle and lumbar vertebrae entering into femoral canal mistakenly it is associated with related with swollen lymph nodes of femoral triangle now the next next clinical is intramuscular injection of thigh the site of intramuscular injection of thigh is anterior lateral part of thigh and the muscle in which muscle in, in which injection is injected is vastus lateralis now the next clinical is avascular necrosis of head of femur in avascular necrosis um, due to occlusion of any artery or sparing of or a cut down of any artery the bone becomes ischemic due to the fracture of neck of head of femur the retinacular branches are cut cut off and the supply to head of femur supply of blood to the head of femur is cut off and the ischemia of or avascular necrosis of head of femur occurs and the retinocular branch is a branch um, is a branch of medial circumflex femoral artery now the next clinical is intramuscular injection of a gluteal region the site of intramuscular injection of gluteal region is gluteus medius gluteus medius and gluteus minimus this is the upper lateral quadrant of gluteal region upper lateral or superior outer superior quadrant the reason behind this region is that um, it prevents the prevents the damage to sciatic nerve and now the next clinical is lurching gait the superior gluteal nerve supplies superior superior gluteal nerve is the nerve of gluteal region superior gluteal nerve is the nerve of gluteal region its root value is l4 l5 and s1 superior gluteal nerve supplies two muscle these are bulk of gluteal region this is gluteus medius gluteus minimus in lurching gait the superior gluteal nerve of one side is damaged of only one side is damaged and the paralysis of gluteus medius and gluteus minimus minimus of one side occur while in waddling gait the superior gluteal nerve of both sides is damaged and the paralysis of both sides of gluteus medius and gluteus minimus occurs of both side occurs now in lurching gait the patient cannot support the opposite opposite side of the pelvis the muscle is and the muscles are paralyzed on one side and patient cannot support the opposite side and limp down while walking while in the waddling gait both sides of paralysis occurs and the patient support his hands or knees while standing
and this was the word link gate